You know, sharing your story is one of the most important conversations you can have, sharing how Jesus changed your life. Maybe you came to faith in Christ through some dramatic experience where Jesus took you from death to life. Maybe you were convinced by a conversation about the power of the resurrection, or maybe you just grew up in church and you heard about Jesus your whole life until you realized, oh, I need to put my faith in Jesus. No matter how you came to faith, whether it was dramatic or whether it was a slow conversation, the, the truth is the same. Jesus died for you. Jesus took you and gave you eternal life. He gave you an abundant life. And then he gave you the opportunity to live with him for eternity once this life is over. One of the things that we need to consider along the journey is, how am I sharing this faith with the world, with those people around me, the, the people that I come into contact with? How would you go about articulating and sharing your faith? Well, I have a few suggestions and some things that I've been working on in my own life to share my faith. One thing is I need to be available for spiritual conversations. Right now, more than ever, people are asking questions about faith and they're looking for faith and hope. Now is the opportunity for us to share that faith and that hope that we have in Jesus. The second thing that we need to be working on is we need to get ready for difficult conversations, difficult questions. People are asking, where is God? Why would God allow people to suffer? Why do bad things happen to good people? Why is there so much suffering in the world? These are questions that are difficult to confront and instead of avoiding them, we need to run to them and say, you know, I don't have all the answers either, but this conversation is ongoing, so let me get back to you. Let's continue the conversation next time. So don't avoid difficult questions, actually run to difficult questions. Also, we need to be dependent on the supernatural. There's an element of faith that you have nothing to do with and neither do I. Jesus is the one that draws people to himself. The Spirit is actually the one that awakens someone's need to spiritual uh, transformation. And what I need to do is present people to Jesus, but Jesus is the one who gives life. I also know, think that we need to learn more about Scripture. We need to dig in further to Scripture and not avoid it. Anything that's vague in our understanding of faith is going to come across in our conversations with people. And so we have an opportunity now more than any other time in history to carry God's word around in our pocket. We should pull it out. We should dig into it. We should learn more. We should discover God's plan of redemption. What an incredible opportunity we have to learn more about Scripture. Another thing we need to do is not judge. Our world is full of judgment. People are judged every day. We actually need to be rescued from judgment. That's the message of the gospel, that even though I deserved justice from God, Jesus took my place, he took my judgment. And so we shouldn't be quick to judge, we should be humble and patient, and we should allow people an opportunity to hear the good news without judging them. Another thing we need to do is be real about our shortcomings. We need to be confessional about our shortcomings. There's the thing about Christian life, the longer we follow Jesus, we have a tendency to set up parameters in our life to where we don't even need God anymore. We have become so good that we don't need the Savior anymore. Well, we all need to realize that we sin every day, we fall short of God's standard, and we need to be honest and real about it. Let's not try to hide it. Let's be real, because as we're real and confessional, the people around us will see, oh, this could be for me as well. There's one thing about faith that we all understand is that Jesus died for me, and a faith worth following on Sunday is a faith worth living out Monday through Friday. How are we gonna go about having the most important conversation about faith? Well, it's about figuring it out, articulating it, and then sharing it. Why don't you share your faith with someone today?